this is how it's going to be. Now, you talking about how great this guy is and the foreplay. Brothers don't do floor play, floor play, floor play, whatever. And you're right, some brothers don't do foreplay. Now, it's one thing about a sexual partner. When you have a sexual partner, that person must learn you. Now, if you're with somebody who don't give a damn about you, of course he's going to slap it in you. Now, if you came out like that and he came in there like that, then he's going to slap it in you and get his and get on. Black girl. And the same thing is with a white man. If he just wants your ass, he going to get your ass. Black girl. And understand one thing. Black girl, there is no difference between any man. It's just a perception. The first time I was with a white woman, I was fixated on the color of her skin when you turn the fucking lights off. Black woman. Oh, wait a minute. Black girl. Because let me tell you something. There is no difference between this person or that person. It's how the person makes you feel. And if you dumb enough to believe that all the brothers or whatever you went through before you found this white man, they were all bad, then you got another thing coming. Understand this. And let me tell you something. And I've heard this from a million black women in your situation. Black girl. This is what happens. You get in an argument with this, with this man. Get in an argument. Next time an argument happens, you turn black on him. Then see how quick it takes him to call you a nigga or a bitch. Don't get me wrong. You probably come from that era and time where it's real quick for a man to call you bitch. But if me and my woman got an argument... It's going to be a long... We got to be arguing for three, four days before I drop a bitch on her. You feel me? But you don't understand that. If you come off like an easy, trampish girl, you're going to get treated like one. Now, if you come off... If you go diva on the white boy, he going to call you a nigga. I put money on it. I bet you, your feelings will be hurt like some of these black girls I've seen walking around here. i never forget what the girl's on. I'm like, you all right? You're walking with the white dude and all mad. I'm like, hey, what you want me to do? Want me to talk to him? No, he called me a nigger. He called you a nigger? See, it's easy for a white person to call a black person a nigger. Especially when they're in a relationship with that nigger. Like I said in the video a few minutes ago when I was crying and shit, I was thinking, it's like, you know, it's fucked up. I've seen my stepmom call my father a nigger. I've seen him do some fucked up shit to her too. So there ain't no difference in between the races. When it's time for that man to let you go, or to find that pure white woman to be with because you ain't nothing but a fuck, understand this, white girl in black skin, because I can hear it in your voice. I can hear it in your voice that you ain't 100% black because black women speak differently than you do. You have been, what's the word? I forgot the word. You speak in the proper manner. You talk like this. Not all black women talk like that. Not all black women are black. You are not a black woman because I can hear it in your voice. Understand your skin color may be black. Your mannerisms are white because you can hear it in your voice. It's more likely that you're educated. You use that voice that us black people use when we want something. Hello, how can I help you? What can I do for you today? That's the voice you're using to talk to all these other black women. They're not going to believe you when you advertise for them to go get a piece of white meat. Sorry. And these black women who can't get a man, they can have a white man. Any black woman can have a white man. Not any white man can have a black woman. That's one thing you don't understand, black girl with a white voice. I'm not just calling you out. I'm calling out everybody else that has listened to Willie Pete is going to come out against black men. Because if you want to hear some truth, you need to listen to a black man instead of a black boy, black girl. Yes. Your future is laid out for you. You're going to bend over. You're going to take it. And once he becomes scandalous, once his actions speak louder than his words, 
you're going to rethink your thoughts. Because there ain't no difference between a black man and a white man. You already said that dicks is just as big as our dicks. Any motherfucker ever seen the porno movie know that? You ever seen the porno movie? There's a whole bunch of y'all black women on this YouTube fucking white boys in these porno movies and they ain't got the ones with the little dicks or do they? Do they? Please. The world itself has become flat and you black women, you are polarized. All the black guys are no good. Let me speak white, act white, to get a white man. And when you're done with your black ass, you're going to rush to the motherfucking hood, or go over to the football field, and see if you can catch an athlete, because you don't want no street nigga. You're going to wake up one day, and ain't going to be nobody there for you. I was told a long time ago, you keep on dating these white girls, you'll never get a black one. When I met my wife, she had a car. Where your kids at? No kids. I was from the hood. Under the hood. Next to the transmission, bitch. Can you feel me? I was deep under the hood. Way down there by the transmission. Closer to the ground. Shut up, white guy. I got my white friend coming now. So we finna do some racial shit today. I'm gonna stop this shit right now.